This covers a paper published in the Journal of Experimental Biology. It is a study led by the Royal Veterinary College, London, in collaboration with the University of Bristol and La Vision. We were interested in the aerodynamics of bird flight and wanted to measure and understand the air motions caused by gliding hawks and owls. We did this by filming a mist of helium-filled soap bubbles using several high-speed cameras. This shows the tawny owl Hector as he glides through the illuminated bubbles, and you can see the wake, or aerodynamic footprint, that is left behind. Here we have Ellie, the goshawk, coming through, and we can see left in the wake a pair of trailing vortices following the wingtips, associated with a general airflow downwards, or downwash. These features are not surprising, and are consistent with basic aerodynamic theory. After all, a mass of air has to be accelerated downward in order for the bird's weight to be supported. What is more surprising is the extra pair of vortices and extra jet of downwash following the tail. By automatically tracking over 20,000 tiny helium bubbles, we can quantify the vortices and downwash produced by the bird. Here is a presentation of the wake behind Hector highlighting the main vortex structures. Again, you can see the two pairs of trailing vortices, one behind the wingtips and the other following the tail. This indicates that the tail is contributing to aerodynamic lift and weight support. Using this information, we can conclude that these birds are not using their tails to help with passive stability. Any toy glider designed to be stable would actually be doing the opposite, producing negative lift with the tail which would show as upwash and tail vortices spinning in the opposite senses. Also, the birds are not following the textbook rules for drag minimization in big aeroplanes, which would keep the downwash even across the span. What it does suggest is that the tails are being used to reduce a form of drag more relevant at the smaller, slower scales of birds. What this means is that, now that engineering has largely sorted out how to sense, process, and actuate quickly enough to achieve active stability on small aircraft, it might now make sense to apply the mechanisms of drag reduction used by birds on fixed-wing drones. And this would be to make the tail produce its share of the lift.